Hello, my name is Bernard Kast. Today I'm going to show you how to create the metallic effect in PowerPoint. You already can see what we're going for. And let's get started. Go to the Home tab and select the rectangle shape. Create a nice big rectangle. Now the first step I do is go to Shape Outline and select No Outline. Because we are working with a gradient and any line will break your gradient and it will look usually not that well. Next step, select Shape Outline, go for Gradient and more gradients down here. Now this Format Shape tab opens on the right side. Select Gradient Fill. I already have the right colors here, but I'm going to reselect for you to, to see how it's done. Here select, you can select the different colors. For the first, I recommend a light gray, then some mid-tone and then a kind of dark gray, or still pretty white, but you know, should have, that you get a proper gradient. Now the next step is, for the first color on the right, we set the transparency. And I recommend you go for 100% here. And then you move the position to the right. Like you can see here, position also changes. If we change that, we have already a nice look. But if you compare it with the original picture, you now it gives a more dynamic feel. How you do achieve this dynamic feel? Simple by changing the angle. So here we have the angle of almost zero degree. So we go for like 310 degree and it looks already quite nice and let's make some changes to the points here I suggest you do this too edit points and you change the point like that next step is go for the shape effects here this button and you select the proper reflection let's go for tight reflection and also a shadow. I take the first one and here we go with a simple and fast metallic effect with some transparency. I hope you like it and you just you can adjust and play around with the values a bit to get a different look and feel. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.